Meanwhile, the US media remain adamant in their accusations against Russia regarding the Malaysian airliner crash. And despite presenting no hard evidence to back such allegations, once launched, the media machine is hard to stop. Yanni Chikian has this report. It took most pundits, military experts and anchors in the U.S. mainstream media less than a day to pronounce Russia, and specifically the Russian president, guilty of the downing of the MH17. This Tuesday, U.S. intelligence officials said they had no evidence that would directly link Russia to the tragedy. They also said they did not know who exactly pulled the trigger. But inertia in the media is a powerful thing, and such a lack of evidence did not set back some of the journalists who seem to be absolutely sure about who's to blame. Maybe you haven't been following it, but the U.S. is actually coming out with a lot of its own intelligence uh, that connects what happened to MH17 to the acts of Russian militants and perhaps to the involvement of Russia in either training, equipping, or maybe even assisting what, what, in this what uh, horrible forensic, operation what of bringing down this plane. What forensic evidence are you talking about? What, what forensic evidence are you referring to? Twitter? They are releasing intelligence information about the trajectory. No, not Twitter. I do not think, Peter, this is something to be flip about. 298 people lost their lives. Let's well, not play politics. I think politics the U.S. State here, Department okay? has been There's very plenty of flippant intelligence about coming this. Out. Very flippant about it. Much of the U.S. media brush off whatever information comes from the Russian government as propaganda. For instance, when Russia presented evidence that Ukraine had the capability to shoot down the plane without directly accusing Kiev of doing it, many journalists have shown clearly that they were not willing to treat all sources equally. That is not to say that all journalists do that. So really it's the propaganda machine spinning on both sides in, in what is a, an information war, certainly as it's seen from the Russian angle. Carol? Is Russia's evidence credible? Well, how credible is the U.S. evidence? After a U.S. official said there is no proof of the Russian president's involvement in the plane crash, the U.S. media is looking for another face to put on the tragedy. The leader of the pro-Russian rebels, a suspect now in this crime, seems defensive, even amused by it all, rolling his eyes at the question of accountability. Why weren't the bodies taken care of and given dignity sooner? You know, it's a fantastic story. The thing is that as soon as members of OSCE arrived, they notified us that if we start moving the bodies, then we will be responsible. We have new sourced information tonight from U.S. government sources about this strange, shadowy character who leads pro-Russian rebels. The jean jacket, black t-shirt, the roll of the eyes. He comes across like a 16-year-old being lectured by a parent. While the real investigation is only beginning in eastern Ukraine, the media are hungry for quick results, quick accusations, and a quick verdict. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekhan, RT.